don't forget to change into your suit. You want to change into your suit? Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Oh my god. What the hell happened here? This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the bat suit in this game. It looks very nice. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Oh, that's just lovely. Nothing left to bury. What's this? Items tagged with that can be linked with items to theorize a connection. And it links to that. Whoever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. <laughs> You're gonna be piecing a lot back together. Um, let's have a look at the dead mercenary. I've seen these outfits before. <laughs> oh, bless me. Same <laughs> the city hall. <laughs> exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your hmm. armor wouldn't have protected you against that. I'm Batman. I can survive anything. I, if I can survive a punch off Superman, I can survive that. <laughs> Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melting. See what we can link this to. Is there anything over here? What about this? The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Let's have a look here. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. What I want to try and do is I just like I feel like it's right in front of me. Like one thing, I'm just gonna kind of break this link here. I just want to get a good idea of what I'm dealing with so I can try and piece it together before like the, the game makes me piece it together. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. I'm sorry, what? 
What did this? What, what, what are you doing? What? Nah, what the f- nah. Uh. What? Oh, no, no, no. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. What else is there? Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. What the hell was this guy doing? What about him? What's this mercenary got to say? He looks like he. Wow. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skyline Club. I'll do for evidence, I'm sure, at some point. White Rose. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Okay, so... Blast epicenter. Uh... So, no, no proof. Okay, what if instead of bloody hand, right? I mean, yeah, that, that, that one's a given. So, it's the bloody hands and the ripped up face. The cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Hmm. I wonder if Scarecrow's got anything to do with this. I'll take that incendiary bullet, and I'll actually, I wonder. Sorry, my nose is really runny. Uh, I wonder if that would link with this. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. It appears military. Hmm. So is that linked? Yeah. So if I link that. Oh, uh, that cop that's over here. Can I link anything with him? No? Okay. Uh, anything here? Right, that's where the chemical exploded. Uh, this here something was here when the explosion occurred ah right okay here we go so we take that someone drove off after the explosion have you put it together yes Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Shit, you know. 
One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. That's pretty savage. He was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. Wow. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. I think Batman's detector skills are like a work of art. Let's do this one because it's closer. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Try this one then. Ah, there we go. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Winner, winner, phosphorus dinner. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Didn't go out the window. Con off. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Oh, there he is. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you hmm. can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. Please. My name's Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Try oh what they shit! Say about you. You're a freaking animal. Time to live up to my reputation. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. Uh, face, ribs, barrels. That, that'll intimidate him. But, uh, hit me! Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Mm, that's not good enough. Oh, God. I start here. 
and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! Mm -hmm. A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! Okay. You're an animal! I was just there for a pickup! I swear! Okay then. You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Let's get out of here. I was wrong. Gonna need that ambulance too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. <gasps> Whoa. You're taking this too far, Bruce. I think I'm taking it the right distance, mate. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. I've heard this before, Alfred. Well, my words pass straight through you. There used to be a difference between Batman and the criminals he locked up in Arkham. That difference is shrinking. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Hmm. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. You know, I can, I can, this is one of the main reasons I love Batman. His gift is also his curse. And like, you know, he, he obviously, anyone would be like this. You lose your parents at a young age and you wouldn't know what to do. And he's obviously turned it into something he can forget. use to take down bad guys and become what he fears. And... You know, speaking as someone who's well, lost a parent himself, the not both, again. just one. You know, I know what that pain's like. It's not nice. It's really not nice. But I mean, you know, the difference between me and Batman is I'm lazy. So I, I'd, I'd be one of them. I'd be like, eh, I, just, I, I can't be bothered fighting crime. So, <laughs> uh, take it we're having a look at Catwoman. Gotham City. Population 10 million. Jesus, that's a lot of people. Harvey Dent. That was the codex. Gotham Feed. Let's have a little look here. 
Okay, we don't need to read that. Back well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal Jesus arms Christ. dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. Do you see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. Hmm. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Oh, shit. Or who you think could do the most good. <sighs> See, now this is the thing, because she'd be more interested in her job. Even though she said to us she wants the truth, she thinks that's better. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to help us out the most, whereas obviously James Gordon gives a shit about everything and everyone that's not bad. I'm going to have to go with Gordon on this one. Of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Bring it. This... This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. We've been looking for this kind of firepower for years. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. Thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. It's because it is. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Oh, first name basis. Oh. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. 
What? That is shit. I want my car. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. That's a balcony. Oh no, it's a balcony. Never mind. Uh... Good point of entry. But that'd be too easy. So let's have a little wander. Scout the place out. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No mm. time for subtlety. This is where we get to be Batman. This is where we'll get a taste of what he can be like. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you a mom? This is not painful. Anymore, I'm not. Uh... This. The white rose, Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. It's gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Never tried it. It's quite Four simple. Armed guards. Stealth, not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. I love how no one... She just looked right at the drone. And she doesn't even notice. A hmm. couple of options for taking this guy down. Hmm. Good enough, okay. Uh, what about this guy? How can I take this guy out? Yeah, why not? Lob it at him. Um. Mobster. What have we got here? Staircase. Yep. Okay, and then there's this last guy here. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. What are we gonna do? Oh, of course. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. Very Let's good, do this. Your turn to crash his party. Oh, karma. Hello. I nearly missed that then. Whack. Whack. That was sick. 
This is giving me a Batman vs Superman vibe in the warehouse. This is literally what I'm getting. Not even us, you just killed them. Oh, here he comes, with the peace cage. Oh, and then there's you. Okay, peace cage went down without a fight. Show yourself! You got no goddamn right now! In the back. Oh, I wish I could have like put the middle finger up to that camera. You can't sneak up on me. Place. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. <gasps> oh boy. <gasps> Skadoosh. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Again. Fire when ready. Yeah. I'm not going to play your little game. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. 
They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, what? the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Oh my god. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. Good. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. No. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back, saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, guys, that was incredible. Um, the video, uh, I've lost the footage of when it's shown next time on, uh, so I'm just going to give it a quick rundown of what happened. If I go to me, choices. So there is, that's what my outcome for episode one was. Basically what's happening in the next episode uh, from what I've gathered from them choices is Oswald Cobblepot now knows about Thomas Wayne and Martha, you know, being gangsters, allegedly. Um, Wayne's, Bruce's, I'm, I'm guessing starting to doubt Alfred's loyalty. Uh, Gordon's thankful for the evidence. Um, Batman and Catwoman are going to be working together. Harvey Dent's decided to distance himself from Bruce Wayne. Oh, the 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 uh, it's it's all about to kick off. Something's gonna happen. And it's terrifying. And I really can't wait for episode two to come out. I am absolutely gonna be carrying on with this series. This game is flawless. I absolutely love this game. I noticed as well with this game, there were a lot of moments where I genuinely thought it was like the Dark Knight. 
like there were a lot of lines said and a lot of things done that just made me think about it. But that's just because I absolutely love that movie. Maybe that's why. I hope you enjoyed uh, episode one of the Batman Telltale game series. I sure as hell did. I loved it, and I can't wait for episode two. If you enjoyed this series, leave a like. It's much appreciated. And be sure to stay tuned for when episode 2 comes out because I will be hammering the shit out of this. Thank you guys, you've been awesome. Take it easy and play games like there's no tomorrow. Bye bye.